Hello everybody and welcome to Satisfactory. Satisfactory, I saw it was on sale and I tried to play this game about, I think it was about a year ago, it might have been a bit longer actually. Um, and to be honest with you, I hated it. Um, but I thought I'd give it a go, this looks quite different to the Satisfactory I played. It's on sale and I thought why not, why not switch it up and try and see, you know, just play through the game and form an opinion on it. So. I, I'm pretty much starting from scratch. I don't really remember anything about the, the game, to be honest with you. Um, so... Ooh. What's the little tick? I think I have, this is the one I played. The textbook example of a, a fix-it... Approved building location. Making water an easy commodity. Large transportation lines may be necessary. Oh, okay, we'll go with that. Uh, all right, let's 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 do it. Let's satisfy the factories. Although I'm fully open to... By the way, I'm fully open to any suggestions on how to play the game or things to do. Oh, if anyone's got tips, drop them in the comments, please. Attention, Pioneer. The following instructional Hello. video is a summary of your impending duties as an exoplanetary pioneer for Fixit Incorporated. Okay. Fixit pioneers have three cyclical assigned pillars of work to ultimately accomplish project assembly. Use provided blueprints to build the necessary buildings. Okay, I can do that. Chart the planet and gather resources to provide desired results and improve your infrastructure. Make sure to report any unusual discoveries to R&D for analysis. Expand your factories, outposts, and pipelines through automation and augmentation. That's okay. It. Get to work and be effective. All right, that was a pretty. Uh... Planetfall imminent. Please oh, remain there we go. During full procedure. Stand by for planetfall. Atmospheric entry in five, four, three, two, one. Planetfall procedure initialized. It feels like the start of Subnautica. Those containers are, are steady. They ain't moving at all. Look, look, look at this! Look at the stabilization going on. Oh wow, that's pretty. Uh, that's quite pretty. That. That's very pretty, actually. Okay. I might need to turn the sound down a bit. Planetfall complete. Please ensure the integrity of your multi purpose exploration suit is at one hundred percent. Remember, efficiency first. Oh. Godspeed. Yeah, it's pretty good. Wow, that looks quite pretty. That. Welcome to Planet Massage Two A B. Massage. Designated sector in the binary star Whoa. system I am Ada, also known as Artificial Directory and Assistant, tasked to support pioneers such as you in their mission. You are the third of your sector to survive planetfall. Congratulations. Right. I need to change. Note. Objective based introduction initialized. Uh, Welcome to onboarding. But where's the sensitivity? First objective. Please dismantle the drop pod. The resulting materials will be repurposed to construct a habitat no. and utility base for More. now on referred to as the hub. The hub! The hub! 
Fix it incorporated as cost effective and efficient. It's so slow. We do not waste. Right, cool. Let me just turn the sound down a little bit as well. It's quite loud for me. I don't know how it is for you guys, but. Right, well, straight away, the immersion juice is flowing. Luna is here. L Luna is on planet. There's a, an, an accurate simulation of me with my lactose intolerance after having a protein shake going on over there. Oh, wait, hang on, I wasn't paying attention here. Right, do we need to dismantle? If you're wondering why my keybinds are all fucked, it's because I'm left handed. Right, there you go, I'm going to preempt it. Alright, semicolon. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh! It's gone. All important fix it data and communication is recorded and stored in the codex, including these steps. Okay. What is that? Why has he got such a small head? That is the goofiest... Bro skipped leg day. Oh! Sweet lord. Bro, bro skipped like... Every day. Look at these joints! That doesn't make any sense. I think gravity's a bit lower here to be... This game is very pretty, I have to say. I've got some bushes. We can pick up leaves. What's that? Hello? Whoa! Okie dokie! Yo! Oh! Oh! Yeah! Oh! 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 That's a, and it's an interesting biological development. Alright, well, I'm just going to go this way, because that guy looks quite aggressive. Alright, open the codex. What we got in here? Tutorials. Open the codex. Ow! It's following me! How do I stop it? Including these steps. I need to get away from this thing. Please ensure you have your Fixit Incorporated Xeno Zapper equipped before leaving the drop zone. Note, according to Fixit regulations, every pioneer should have access ah. to a means of defense against extraterrestrial threats. Alright, where are you, you little bastard? Third objective. Please familiarize yourself with the resource scanner to find iron. Alright, okay. The acquisition of iron is considered essential in preparation for all future objectives. That looks like a structure. I wonder if you can find structures. Scan for iron nodes. Oh. Oh wow, okay, we got some iron. Over here. Right, what, what was this planet called? Massage. What's that? Don't kill me. That's mad. It's not one of these big grapefruits. Oh, it's disappeared. Can I scan it again? Well, I can. Aha! Alright, there's iron right there. Sweet. Let's go get, let's go get some iron. Don't know how we're gonna get, like, process it, but oh, are you one of those like weird? Go away, sausage. What are you doing? Sod off. Oh, he's dead. I didn't want to kill it. No. That's too damn bad. Right. The remains of this creature might shed light on how to increase chances of survival. A new research tree can now be accessed in the MAM. What's the MAM? Fourth objective, build the hub. <laughs> Note, 
To complete this objective, the resources salvaged from the draw pod will be consumed. Caution. Ensure the hub is built on spacious open terrain close to the presence of iron sources. Failure to do so will likely result in non-optimal I don't mind this. I don't think I can. Right, flat. I hope it's best built near iron nodes. So I might as well just build it like here. Whoa! He just stood up on his legs. Skedaddled. Whoa! He's gone! Uh, I think we should just build it like here then, right? Nice and flat. Got loads of iron right here. We're in a nice little protected gorge. If there's any googlies that are going to come after us or whatever. Right, how do we build the hub? What is the man? The, the man? The man. The hub. Alright, bloody hell, that's big. That is, alright, okay, that is massive actually. Um, right, maybe we want a bit more space. Maybe we want the hub over here. I don't know, man. This is like... That'll do. We'll figure it out. Congratulations. You have unlocked. Hub feature, manual craft bench. Hub feature, hub terminal. Okay. Fifth objective. Complete hub Get rid of these leaves. Note, the craft bench and hub terminal are essential for progression to the next objective. Oh, okay, right. Fifth ob Right. Hub upgrades and their costs can be found and activated in the hub ter terminal. Right. Hub terminal. Hub upgrade one. So we get an equipment workshop, which we can use to manually craft equipment. A portable miner, which can be set on a resource node. Ah! That's useful. And inventory slots. We need 10 iron rods. Ah, so we can craft iron rods here. Right. Right, so we can make iron ingots, right? Aha! And that's how we make iron rods, okay. How many did we need? Ten. Right, okay, we need two more, we need two more. Two more, uh... I don't want to use all the iron because I don't know what else we might need it for. And if we make all rods, I can't unmake the rods, I assume. Right, let's do it. Upgrade the hub! Sweet. Congratulations. You have unlocked building, workshop, equipment, portable miner, inventory, additional slots. Hub feature, ah. personal storage. Sixth Look at that. Objective, complete hub upgrade to note. Portable miners require no power and will mine a node until their inventory is full. Note. Multiple portable miners can be used on a single node. I wanna check out that portable miner and we could just go and stick it on the iron node, right? How do we equip a portable miner? Wait, 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 wait. Ah, the equipment workshop is used to craft equipment. Right, so we need steel plates. <laughs> oh, it's, okay, it's iron plates. I, I'm, six iron plates and four iron rods. So I mean, we, we might as well just like... Dear Lord. This takes a minute. Oh boy. Okie dokie. I'm assuming the whole point of this game is to just make everything more efficient, so. 
This is uh, this is first base. All right, then we'll make. I can't remember how many of these we needed. Was it like like eight of each? All right, that'll be enough. And then craft bench. Or is it the craft bench we need? Hang on. Before before we equipment workshop, right? Does this need to be in any way connected to the base? Is what I'm wondering. Or can we just like stick it like I don't know, like here? Or where do we want to put it? Can we put it off the back. Like that. It's a bit off center, but oh well. Right. Portable miner. Let's build one of these. Aha! That takes up a lot of the screen. Portable miner can be placed on a nearby resource node by pressing... Okay, so we'll put it on this iron over here. Buildings can be dismantled without any loss of resources. Okay, so we can adjust that workshop. That's good. Alright, let's drop a miner here. This still got iron on it? No, wait, no, 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 no. Right. Oh, is that it? I thought it was going to be way bigger than that. Oh. <laughs> They're pretty cool, I can't even lie. Well, what's that over there? Alright, so this is mining now, yeah? <laughs> 40 per minute. What? <laughs> Wait, if I zap it, will it do that? Ah, oh, damn it. I was really hoping it would just slide. How much can this hold then? Okay, whatever. We'll leave that running. No, we need to complete the hub. Hub 2. That's what we need to do. Let's have a look what we need for number two. I don't actually know what the the goal is here, to be honest. Alright, 20 rods, 10 steel plates. Alright, so let's, let's just craft all of this. I've already forgotten what we need. I think we need a 10, 10 steel, 20 steel rods. 10 steel plates, maybe? Something like that. All right, let's see if that works. All right, and a bing. Upgrade. Whoa, okie dokie. We got a little house now. Nice. You have unlocked Get the iron. Feature, biomass burner, scanner feature, copper, new buildings and recipes, which can be found in the build menu and craft bench, respectively. Okay. Seven a bio. Objective. Complete hub upgrade three. Note, connect buildings to a biomass burner for power. Note, buildings such as the smelter require a recipe to be set. Advice, automate the smelting process and use portable miners for optimal results. Right, okay, got you. So we need a biomass. So we can now scan for copper. 
biomass burner. So this is a power generation that we need to hook everything up to. Okay. This is my house. Welcome to my house tour. My house is located on an alien planet, brackets literally. Right. Buildings like the smelter require a recipe to be selected and power to, to function. A biomass burner located in the hub generates power by consuming biomass like wooden leaves. Hydrogen oh, power generators and most buildings only have a single power line connection. Guessing that's this. So if we put some leaves... 80, 80 per minute, oh my god. Okay, it's not connected to anything yet. So we need a smelter, right? Smelter, smelts iron into ingots, perf perfect. We need copper. Where for art thou copper? Right, there's a deposit. Right, there's a deposit that way. Let's take an auto miner with us. Let's do this smart. We're going to do this smart. We don't, we don't build them here, do we? What's that? Iron plates. Okay. Let's get some more plates. And we'll get some more rods. We'll bring an auto miner with us. Look at that. Look, look, at, look at me planning ahead. Alright, it's copper. Hopefully it's not on this ridge. Oh no, there's a little ramp here. Okay, that's fine then. Still, I think uh, if we're gonna have conveyors, it might be a pain in the ass. I don't know how. I don't know how it's gonna work. Aha! Got here. Oi! Oi! Oh! Come on! Come on! I don't want to kill you, mate. Come on! I know this is your. Okay, he's gone. He's back! Ah! Oh. Zap him in the ass. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, oh! Oh, got him. It's like, a, it's like a whale. Like, it's got, like, the characteristics of a blue whale. But with an absolutely tiny head. Like, what, what is... Absolutely baffled. Oh, Ooh, I don't like them noises. Right, let's uh, plop down a little auto miner here. That'll start mining copper for us. I think. Yes. Look at that. 40 per minute, that's pretty good, that. That looks like a cool planet. I wonder if you can go to different planets. That'd be pretty sweet. You take fall damage. Oh, yep, you do, yep, you do. Damage to Fiskit property. I've become property. Let's go check the iron miner as well. Real quick. So do these guys not require power then? They just run forever. Because if so, that's pretty good. It's full though. Ah, okay. I'm guessing the deposits don't go forever either. It won't make sense if the deposits just kept going, you know what I mean? Right. Now we can make copper wire. Should be able to make a smelter.
I think. Let's make ten. And then we'll make uh, some more of this as well. Because I've got so much iron. <laughs> but not too much. Because pretty soon we'll be able to just stick it into the uh, into the furnace. And I don't have to sit here holding left mouse button. Not that I don't, you know, massively enjoy doing that. Alright. Let's build a smelter. Eh? Right. Okay, let's think about this now. We've got to think about this strategically. Realistically, we're going to want all the machinery following the smelter to be going that way, right? There's the power connection. Oh, I don't know, you see. It's one of those things, I mean, we can always, like, disassemble it. I just don't want to mess up. Right. Um, okay. Okay, so th this will smell iron. <sighs> right, how do we power it? How do we power this? Aha! Cable. Okay, we need a cable. Let's get a cable. Nice. Right, power line. Oh, it comes from up there, whatever. There. Why is production paused? Is it just going to dump them out? Okay. Whoa, there's a galaxy up there. That looks sick. That looks really cool. Where's that ringed planet gone? It's disappeared. Oh, it's over there. Oh, you can actually see the skybox turning, look. Oh, uh, okay, that's quite pretty. That is quite pretty, to be fair. Can't even lie. Um, alright. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Oh, we just burned all our... Right, I'm going to have to go, like, cause global warming real quick. Let's get some... Isn't that just, like, the definition of this game? <laughs> global warming speed run, any percent. Get some leaves. They're not using them anyway. It's alright. They don't mind. Trust me. I hope these grow back. Otherwise I'm just taking my quickest access fuel source. For the sake of being lazy. Right. Boom. We've got about two minutes. Got about two... Just over two minutes of power. I don't, I'm just going to leave that for now because I don't know what to do with it. Hub 3. Right, okay, we just need a load of steel stuff. Okay, no. This can process that for us, right? Let's fire this bad boy up. Let's fire this bad boy up. Boom. And that's going to produce that for us. I think quicker than we can do it. I don't know. I think we might be able to do it quicker than that. Let's switch this off. I want to use all our power. Because so I think I can do it faster just over here. I think I think this is faster. Interesting. <laughs> right, um what do we need? What do we need? What do we need? Base level three. We need ten plates, fifteen rods. We've already got templates. Oh, we need another 10, don't we?
Oh, damn it. Okay. Right. Base three. No, we need five more rods. Oh, God. Five more rods. There we go. Right. Upgrade level three. Let's go. Oh, no. We need 20... 20 wire. It didn't tell me about that. Okay, that's fine. I'm sure we can make that. <laughs> nice. Yeah, you see, this is quite a long-winded process. I can't wait to get this a little bit quicker. Boom. Do we have a bed? We do, we have a bed. We can sleep. We've got a toilet! Finally! Oh! Sweet Jesus. Oh, we've got a ladder. Oh, you can climb the ladder. <gasps> so cool. If we go down it. Power poles. So if I wanted to branch this out now, I'm guessing that's the power line. I'd have to make poles to actually branch it out further. Ah, now we've got constructors. Okay. Okay, I'm seeing, I'm, I'm, I'm smelling what the rock's cooking. I know what's happening here. I know what's happening here. I know exactly what's happening here. So this can construct one component. But obviously we're going to have to have two different lines. We're going to have to have a, an iron line and a copper line. Yeah, I'm I'm seeing I'm seeing the way this is uh shaping up. Um but for now guys that is gonna be the end of the episode. Um it's been it's been pretty good. It's pretty much what as I remember to be fair, so hopefully um things get a bit more interesting as we continue to play. But overall it's a very pretty game. Um I think it's on the on the on the edge of like, you know, bog standard survival, but I'm uh I'm gonna push through and, and see how it goes. Like I said last time I wasn't massively impressed, but I didn't really get that far in, so um, yeah, we'll just we'll just see how it goes. We'll just see. I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it a chance because so far I'm enjoying it. It's very pretty. Um, so if you want to see more of this, please like, comment, subscribe to support the channel, and uh, leave any suggestions in the comments. And uh, yeah, take care, everybody.